Hey man, welcome, welcome back, man, to the Golden Goose DFS show. I am your host, Chandler Blakely, aka Goose Man, here today bringing you another edition of my starting five for DraftKings and FanDuel. All right, man, we got a full, fully loaded nine game slate on this Sunday night, man. First, uh, real Sunday with no football, NBA loaded it up for us, man. Tons of great matchups, real basketball wise and fantasy wise, man. Definitely gonna be uh, have my feet kicked up watching these games on Sunday. All right, man. Looking at the slate right now, we got a lot of injury news already, man. A lot of moving parts, and we still gonna be waiting on tons of injury news tomorrow, man. It could be a crazy day, man. You're going to have to stay locked in tomorrow, man, or you may have some duds in your lineups, all right? But just the uh, the injury news we know so far, the usual suspects, LeBron and AD, uh, questionable, probable, whatever. They should play. We're not worried. Uh, De'Aaron Fox is still questionable. That's a big piece of news we're going to wait on that's going to affect that uh, Kings uh, rotation. Uh, say we know Shea Gibbs Alexander is out for sure. Drew Holiday is still out for the Bucks, man. The another big piece of news: Jamal Murray and Will Barton will be out, man. That's gonna open up tons of Nugget value, Nuggets value in that matchup against the Lakers. Even though the Lakers are a tough defensive team, man, a lot of those guys are gonna be mispriced, being that Will Barton and Jamal Murray are out. So we definitely got some spots we're looking at over there. Uh, Mason Plumlee still questionable. Could be another Isaiah Stewart night, man. It's just so many ways you can go, man. Pay attention to the injury news, all right? We ain't going to run it all down for you, just a little bit of it, because we're going to give you what you came for, man. Let's get right into my starting five, man. Opening up at the point guard. One of my favorite plays right now for tomorrow, man. That's Dame Dollar, man. Like him in this matchup against the Mavericks, man. Probably going to be one of the higher totals. It's like 237 right now. We're waiting on a few other totals, but this is probably going to be one of your higher ones. Uh, Mavs are favored by four and a half, so they're expecting it to be close, man. Great game environment, man. Should be up and down. And I like Dame in this spot against Luka, man. I always like taking Dame, especially when he goes against some of the uh, top other point guards in the league, man. I like him in those type matchups, especially one with this high of a total. Get you some Damian Lillard, all right? Coming in as shooting guard. This play, man, is definitely going to be very injury-related, injury-hinging. I'm going Mr. Halliburton, man, from the Sacramento Kings. Definitely going to be having my ear to the streets waiting on that Fox news. If Fox is in, he's still playable, but we might not be as locked on him as we are right now. So we may find a pivot. But it, uh, just assuming that he's missed, I'm going Halliburton right now, man. I like him in this matchup against the Memphis Grizzlies, man. He's a he's a real point guard, man. He he, he looks to uh, establish everybody else, get the offensive going, get, get, get the offense going, man. He, he going to rebounds or assist man and, and if his shot is falling he can give you a big return on this 6600 price tag i like tyler i love tyrese halliburton his fox is out i still like him if fox is in all right coming in at small forward man we told you jamal murray and will barton are out man that means one thing for me man give me all the michael porter jr man Listen, I'm not trying to say he's a lock. He could still bust at this 5900 uh price tag, man. He could be a dud for you. But I know one thing. With no Jamal Murray and no Will Barton, his minutes going to be locked in, should get 30-plus, and he going to see all the shots he wants, man. You talking Michael Porter, a guy is not bashful about pulling up from anywhere, man. He's definitely looking to score the ball. They're going to need him to in this tough matchup against the Lakers, man. I like Michael Porter Jr. tomorrow, 50-point-plus upside. Like I said, man, I'm not saying he's a lock. He can very well do it, but I'm going to take my chances tomorrow. Give me all the Michael Porter Jr. you got, all right? Coming in at power forward, man. Another mid-tier value play I like, man. 
I'm going with the boy from Charlotte, man. Going Miles Bridges, man. We expecting PJ Washington. He's still question. Expecting him to be out tomorrow. That that just solidifies his minutes, man. He's averaging thirty minutes the last four games. I I like him in his matchup against the Spurs. This is another gonna be another high total game. Uh, you know, up and down pace, man. I like Bridges out in transition, running with Lamelo, man. I like Miles Bridges in his matchup. Coming in as center, man, a guy I'm going to have a lot of exposure to. I think he may go overlooked because there's a lot of options, a lot of ways you can go, man. But the guy I'm looking at, man, is Jonas Valanciunas, man. Just coming back, this matchup with the Kings, man. They don't have a body they can throw at him down there. Probably white side, but they don't They don't like to play him. So if they're going to run... um. If they're going to run uh, Rashawn Holmes at center, man, it could get ugly real fast, man. So Whiteside could be in play tomorrow as he may see a few more minutes against uh, the, the bigger body in Valanchunas, all right? But this is my starting five for DraftKings tomorrow, man. Damian Lillard, Tyrese Halliburton, Michael Porter Jr., Miles Bridges, and Jonas Valanchunas, all right? Now, let's go take a look at FanDuel, but before we do, man, y'all already know what to do, man. Hit the subscribe button, please, please, man. I'm loving the views so far, man. We've seen the uptick, but I, I, I love it even more if y'all hit that subscribe button for me, and please hit the like button, man. We getting uh, a lot of views, but uh, two or three likes. Just hit the like button for your boy, man. Just a little, It's a little thing that goes a long way, man. It's greatly appreciated, all all right, next up, man, let's take a look at this fan duel, all right? At the top, man, nothing changes. Damian Lillard, man, I told you he's one of my favorite plays right now tomorrow. Slate, I'm definitely locked in I'm on, on him in that matchup with Luka. Coming in as shooting guard, a little value play, man. Mr. Grayson Allen, man. I like him, man, in this matchup with the Kings. We already told you it's an up-paced game. Should be one of the higher totals on your slate tomorrow as well. He's been locked in the 30-plus minutes, man. He should see 30 again tomorrow as uh, Desmond Bain is still out and De'Anthony Melton is still out. So he should be locked in for 30 minutes, man. He's a utility guy, man. He does a little bit of everything for these Memphis Grizzlies over here, man. He's a scrapper. They're going to need some of that in this matchup with the Kings. I like Grace and Allen at this price point. All right. Coming in at small forward, man. Going back to the boy, Mr. Gordon Haywood. Struggled from the field last game out, but any guy that's going to be shooting the ball 20, 20 plus times, man, I want a piece of him, man. He's still the main guy over there. The offense just moves a little differently with LaMelo in the starting lineup, but as long as uh, Gordon Hayward is going to have, like I said, as long as he's going to take 20 plus shots, man, he's a solid peripheral guy. He's going to get a few rebounds, a few assists, man. I like running him out in this matchup against the Spurs, man. Up pace matchup for the Hornets. A, a, a little small forward duel here. Maybe him and DeRozan get into some back and forth, all right? Coming in at power forward, man. Going with the boy Darius Basley, man. I like him in this matchup. He's another guy, man. He, he, he's scoring the pen. He, he gives okay peripherals, you know, a few rebounds here, there, a few assists. But his upside lies in his scoring, man. He's been shooting horribly as well from the field, man. He has an up pace matchup against the Bucks, where they definitely going to need his scoring. So he's not going to be shy about shooting the rock. We just hopefully he can uh, get his shot going at home here against the Bucks. I like Darius Basley. At this 6100 price tag, man. And rounding out at center on FanDuel, man. One of my top plays at center across both sites, man. Jonas Valanciunas, man. I told you I'm excited about this matchup. Up pace game. They don't have a big, the only big body they have is white side to throw at them, but they don't like playing them. Holmes is going to start. Valanchunas, as long as he gets his 30 plus minute, he can give you great return on his 7,100, all right? But there you have it, guys. My starting five for fan duel tomorrow. 
Damian Lillard, Grayson Allen, Gordon, Gordon Hayward, Darius Baisley, and Jonas Valanciunas, man. Get you some exposure to these guys. Get them in your lineups. And while you're doing that, remember you hit it, you heard it here. So go back and subscribe if you didn't do it, all right? And that's going to be my time today, man. Y'all know the motto over here. Chances make champions. Y'all green up, man. I'll see y'all tomorrow, all right? Let's go.